This morning we're setting off on a day trip to see one of Croatia's neighboring countries, Montenegro. First, we'll drive along the Adriatic Sea to a city called Parast, then we'll catch the ferry over to a man-made island with a broke chapel, and finally we'll have time to explore the ancient city of Kotor. It feels nice to be on the ferry with this breeze and then this beautiful surroundings. I like mountains, the blue water, islands. It's just gorgeous. We've just arrived at the Church of Our Lady of the Rocks and I am really excited to check this out. According to legend, local sailors would return home from a successful voyage, throw rocks into the sea until eventually this emerged to create an island. The reason this church is called Lady of the Rocks is because it was named after this painting which was found on the reefs at this site. The church has become a shrine for sailors throughout the centuries, hoping to stay safe at sea. Kotor isn't a massive city, but there's certainly a lot to see, and luckily we have a guide to show us around. When you come to Kotor, you'll notice that it's made up of a lot of squares, and back in the day, each square had a specialty of things they sold. So one might be wood, one might be grain, one might be milk. I think this one's called Cat Square. For the best views of the area, we're headed to St. John's Fort, which is all the way up here, so <laughs> the only thing is you have to work for it. We're almost to the top. <laughs> it's a bit of a climb, but the views are spectacular from up here and it is definitely worth it. I can't believe I went to another country today. Montenegro is magical. We learned about the medieval history of Kotor, we saw the Church of Our Lady on the Rocks, and we experienced the Bay of Kotor. What an incredible way of seeing one of the most ancient parts of Europe while staying in Dubrovnik. <laughs>